guys, so for this video, I really wanted to talk about um, how to make a slip knot. So in crocheting, um, this really is the best knot to use um, in order to start your project because it is adjustable. So the slip knot looks like this, okay? So you usually have the tail or the short end. You have the part that this would end up leading to your skein or your ball of yarn that you're working with, okay? The nice thing about slip knots is that they are adjustable. So that means that if I pull, I can make the loop smaller. And if I pull the loop, I can make it bigger. Um, and in fact, I can make it completely disappear altogether. So that's kind of nice. Um, that is, so I'll show you this is, I'll make another one quick. Okay, so this is the slip knot. That is what that looks like. Um, and then, let me cut a piece quick. That is, all right, to be compared with just your traditional square knot. Okay. So in this case, if you pull, it is going to not be adjustable. It's not permanent, but if you pull too tightly, it might be difficult to um, undo, okay? So I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can do, or that you, um, that you can make a slip knot, okay? So the first way, let me get my string here. And this is for um, right-handers. So if you're left, you just have to flip-flop. So if I'm using my right hand, you would use your left hand. So the way I like to start, okay, is I take the tail end of my yarn, I'm going to pinch it with my thumb and forefinger, okay? And then with my forefinger or my index finger and my middle finger, I'm gonna hold the string like that. So this is the long end. That's the end that my, my skein would be connected to, okay? So while pinching your yarn, you're going to take your left hand, kind of pull up, give yourself some space. You're going to twist. I twist to the right, I think that's easier. And then in that big loop, you're gonna put your forefinger and your thumb, okay? You're going to reach in, grab that little piece, but don't let go with your right hand, okay? And you're going to pull it through, okay? And that is going to give you your nice little slip, uh, slip knot, okay? And so that is the first way. So again, this is the long end. So you're gonna take the left end, okay? You're going to loop it over. So notice my left end is coming out that way and it's on top of the other end. I'm gonna hold the tail with my right hand. With my left hand, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. So with two fingers, it's really up to you. Oops. You're going to flip it over. So see how it's a pretzel? And then I'm holding both ends and then I just pull through. Okay. So personally, I don't like this one quite as much. Um, I think the other way is a little bit easier, but really it's up to you, um, your preferences and what you like. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like more tips, tricks, and tutorials on crocheting, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed below.